The Battle of San Romano is a set of three paintings by the Florentine painter Paolo Uccello depicting events that took place at the Battle of San Romano between Florentine and Sienese forces in 1432. They are significant as revealing the development of linear perspective in early Italian Renaissance painting, and are unusual as a major secular commission. The paintings are in egg tempera on wooden panels, each over three meters long. According to the National Gallery, London, the panels were commissioned by a member of the Bartolini Salambeni family in Florence sometime between 1435 and 1460. The paintings were much admired in the 15th century. Lorenzo de Medici so coveted them that he purchased one and had the remaining two forcibly removed to the Palazzo Medici. They are now divided between three collections, the National Gallery, the Galleria degli Uffizi, Florence, and the Musée du Louvre, Paris. Subject the three paintings are, Niccolò Mora at Cedar Tolentino at the Battle of San Romano, Egg Tempera with Walnut Oil and Linseed Oil on Poplar, 182 times 320 cm, National Gallery, London, Niccolò Mora at Cedar Tolentino and Seats Bernardino della Chada at the Battle of San Romano, Tempera onward, 182 times 320 cm, Galleria degli Uffizi, Florence. The counter-attack of Michelato da Cotignola at the Battle of San Romano, wood panel, 182 times 317 cm, Musée du Louvre, Paris. The Uffizi panel was probably designed to be the central painting of the triptych and is the only one signed by the artist. The sequence most widely agreed among art historians is London, Uffizi, Louvre, although others have been proposed. They may represent different times of day, dawn, midday and dusk. The battle lasted eight hours. In the London painting, Niccolò da Tolentino, with his large gold and red patterned hat, is seen leading the Florentine cavalry. He had a reputation for recklessness, and doesn't even wear a helmet, though he sent two messengers to tell his allied army of Attendolo to hurry to his aid as he is facing a superior force. In the foreground, broken lances and a dead soldier are carefully aligned, so as to create an impression of perspective. The three paintings were designed to be hung high on three different walls of a room, and the perspective designed with that height in mind, which accounts for many apparent anomalies in the perspective when seen in photos or at normal gallery height. Many areas of the paintings were covered with gold and silver leaf. While the gold leaf, such as that found on the decorations of the bridles, has remained bright, the silver leaf, found particularly on the armor of the soldiers, has oxidized to a dull gray or black. The original impression of the burnished silver would have been dazzling. All of the paintings, especially that in the Louvre, have suffered from time and early restoration, and many areas have lost their modeling. The panels were a subject in the BBC series, The Private Life of a Masterpiece, 2005.